to Let's Whine About It. If you are new here, my name is Elise and on my channel we talk all things wine and all things that make you want to grab a glass of wine. If you are coming back, hey girl, hey. Okay, today we are um, starting off my Black History Month Black Owned Wine series where we'll be tasting and talking about um, all the black owned wines, or most of them, for the next four weeks. So today I am going to be tasting and talking about the House of Brown uh, Chardonnay, the 2020 vintage um, from the Brown Estates. I thought it would be only right to start off with the Brown Estates because they are the first Napa Valley black owned winery. Um, so they're known for this Chardonnay. Um, it's one of their best sellers. So I'm really excited to taste it with you guys. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So one thing that you'll notice right off the top, no pun intended, it does have a screw top. Um, I wanna make sure to, you know, bust the myth about cheap wines having screw tops or not being good quality wines if it has a screw top. That is a myth. Um, screw tops are actually becoming more and more popular and can actually help preserve freshness um, for a lot of wines that are intended to be um, enjoyed now. Corks are usually used with wines that handle aging well, but a lot of wines, especially white wines, are made to be enjoyed sooner rather than later. And for those types of wines, screw tops usually work best because it retains freshness um, and it's it's actually just easier to enjoy. The other thing that you want to know about corkscrews is traditional corkscrews are made out of wood. Wood and thus they are porous. Porous corks do allow air to get in which allow bacteria to get in which can change the taste and the flavor of lighter brighter uh, wines. So again, you'll see traditionally um, white wines utilizing screw tops more often than red wines. But even red wines with screw tops is not necessarily an indicator of quality. Um, okay. All right. So first we're going to look at the wine in the glass and we're looking for its hue. And uh, this one is the beautiful rich yellow uh, gold color. And um, then we're going to give it a swirl, open it up take a look at the legs um, this is going to give us an indicator of the alcohol volume we're looking for the thicker the legs the higher the alcohol volume looking at the legs are the tears on this glass I would say it's about 13 percent oh that girl is good 13 percent on the dot all right let's give it a sniff all right mm, so it's not a super fragrant bouquet very citrusy some pear notes too but it's not a super strong bouquet which is surprising i was expecting something different just looking at the reviews but it's not bad either okay so let's go ahead and take a sip cheers okay that's really good and again i'm surprised because this was aged in um, still barrels and I personally like an oak aged Chardonnay. I like the buttery flavor of oak aged Chardonnay, but this was, um, very surprising, but it's, it's fresh, um, citrusy still on the palate, notes of pear and maybe like some green apple, slight note of honey, um, a little vanilla a little fresher and zippier than the typical Chardonnay that I like, but it's not as like um, fresh as like a, a Riesling. I really like this is a, the acidity on it is is high. Um, my mouth is watering, very low on tannin. Um, it just, it's still a very smooth Chardonnay and drinkable. I would say you could pair this with a fatty fish like salmon, um, or it could go really well with um, some 
crab cakes. Oh, also, if you're a vegetarian, this will probably go really well with a stuffed bell pepper. A cheesy stuffed bell pepper would go really well with this. So, um, or just sipping on your couch. Again, it's very drinkable. It is fresh, fruity, and just slightly sweet. Um, and I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 on the ratings. I probably would keep, this would probably be my preferred Chardonnay that I would keep in the house, especially if I'm having company or guests because I think um, company, um, even if you're not a big wine drinker, I think that you would enjoy drinking this Chardonnay. Um, all right, so that is our first wine review of Black History Month. Again, this is from the Brown Estates, the first owned and operated winery in Napa Valley. Definitely check them out. This is, you definitely get a good bang for your buck with this. This is like $19, $20 um, and can definitely stand toe to toe with some of the um, pricier Chardonnay. So um, definitely check them out. House of Brown, the 2020 Chardonnay. All right. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this wine review. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to drop a comment if you've tried this wine before or if you want me to taste another Black-owned wine um, in the month of February. Thanks, guys. Have a good one and cheers. Mm -hmm.